Hello friends, welcome back to Snippet Code and we are back with another video. In this video, we will talk about what are the new improvement in our Flutter 3.10. So the Flutter 3.10 include many improvement to web, mobile, graphics and security and so much more. And also there is an introduction of Dart 3.0. So let's explore each and every features. So most of the improvement has been done in, in the material 3.0. So now our material libraries match with our material design specs. So if you want to use material 3 in your application, you have to just use the use material 3 theme flag in your main.dart file. In the next table release, it will be by default true. So the first major improvement in our material 3.0 is with our navigation bar. So with the introduction with our 3.0, it's override the default appearance of our navigation bar wizard. With this new one that is navigation bar theme wizard, you can see here in that animation also, there is a new navigation bar theme and all. So next one is our navigation drawer. So now our navigation drawer show a single selection list of our navigation destination widgets. We can also include the other widget also inside this. So if we want to override our default appearance of our navigation drawer widget, we have to use our navigation drawer theme widget. You can also see in the animation also here. Next one is the improvement in our search bar and our search anchor. So these components provide a predictive text for our search queries. When the user enter any search query, the app compute a list of matching response in the search view like this way. The user can search and select any of that result from the list like this way. To use this, you have to use our search bar theme and our search anchor theme widget in our application. So the next improvement is in our secondary tab bar. So with the introduction with our 3.0, it's allow us to create the second tier of our tab content. You can see here in the animation also, we have the first tabs, then we have the second tab also that is also coming here. For use that, we have to just use our tab bar dot secondary. So next one is our date picker. So with our material 3.0 date picker updates the color layout and shape for both the calendar and in our text field version of the visit you can see here this is the calendar which is coming and here is the text visit that is also look and feel is changed so the next improvement in our time picker and you can see here in the time picker visit also it's update the color layout and shape for both our regular and the compact version of the visit you can see in the animation also the time picker design has been totally changed here is the compact version, here is the regular version. So the next change in is with our bottom sheet. So now in the bottom sheet in our material 3.0, it's add an optional track handler also. You can see here, we can drag it with our that track handler and also with our close bottom sheet also. So the next changes is with our list style. In our material 3.0, in the list style, it's update the positioning and the spacing of this widget. Also, this include our content padding, leading and trailing widget alignments, minimum leading width, also the vertical spacing include and rest of the APIs is remain unchanged over there. You can see in the animation also that design is very compact now. Previously, there is a lot of spacing in the top margin, left and bottom and right also. But now there is a not much spacing over there that we can add manually as per our requirement. So the next update is with our text field. So now they have added that support for the native gesture that is double click tap gesture and also for the triple click and the tap gesture you can see in the animation also we can select any of the text here with our single text and also with our multi text also so the next improvement is with our flutter web so now in our flutter web the app improved the load time canvas kit reduced the size for all the browser and also it is include the element embedding also also it's provide a shader support also now there are the other improvement in our flutter 3.10 First one is with our Flutter 3.0 and it's include now 100% sound null safety, records, patterns and class modifiers. So if you need a dedicated video on Dart 3.0, let me know in the in the comment box section. I will get the video on that topic. Then we have a major improvement in our performance. Now it is eliminating junk. Then 
there is a reducing iOS startup latency, also the reducing size, then you have stability also. Also, there is a lot of API improvement like APNG decoder. It's added the ability to decode our APNG images. Now we can load the APNG images. Then there is a image loading API improvement also. So also there is a major improvement in our mobile also. They have introducing the wireless debugging in our Flutter iOS. Now we can debug our in our Flutter iOS application wireless also. So now our Flutter application iOS can now support the accurate rendering for our wide government images. For doing that, we have to modify our info.plist file and all. And then there is a support for the spell check also. Now it will have the ability to spell check in our text field and all. Also it added the adapted checkbox and radius. So these are the some of the features which is introduced in our Flutter 3.10. There's a lot more feature has been added so i hope you liked your video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching our video